and three and four and five and Vogue. Mm. What's up, Buttercups? It's me, Amy Young, and I'm here to change the way you think about dating and relationships. This week I got a brilliant question from a viewer named Lachelle. Lachelle writes, Hey Amy, first of all, I love your videos. Thank you for all the life-changing wisdom and laughs. I've been a fan for a long time. Thank you, Lachelle. I'm writing because I really want to start putting myself out there more in the dating scene, but I'm so insecure about everything, it's awful. I'm definitely better than I used to be, and I'm working on building confidence, but anytime I think about meeting a man, I get so worried about what he'll think of me, especially the not great stuff. What can I do to get over my insecurities and get in a great relationship? Please help and thank you for everything. Love, Lachelle. Insecurities are tough, right? I mean, we've all been there. We know what that feels like. And we sit in this place of like, how the fuck do I get rid of this stuff? How do I get over my insecurities so I can be in a great relationship? Finally, that's what we want. And here's the truth of it. The truth, capital T, you're not gonna like this truth. You don't get over your insecurities. You don't get rid of your insecurities. At least I wouldn't recommend that. What you can do, and this is what will really help you, Lachelle, and also help all of us out there who have very similar issues, is you can make friends with your insecurities. You can get to a place with your insecurities where they aren't such a big deal to you anymore. Because it's one thing to have insecurities. It's another thing to be insecure about those insecurities. And that's what we need to tackle first. Because insecurities, oh my god, they're like belly buttons and buttholes. Everybody's got one. You have them, I have them, Beyonce's got them, Kate Middleton, you name it, she's got stuff that she's insecure about. I promise you. The differentiating factor here is that there are some women who are okay with their insecurities. They get it as part of their package. They're like, yeah, I have some stuff I'm not crazy about, about myself. It's cool, I see it, it's not a big deal. Then there are those of us who are deeply uncomfortable and anxious and stressed out about our insecurities and we think that they make us unlovable and we think that we need to get rid of them and we need to get over them and we don't. We need to love them. We need to make them feel welcome. We need to be like, insecurities, I see you. I have a framework and a context that I want to package all of this into that I know will really crack the code for you. Remember the movie Snow White? What do we remember about that movie? Well, she bit that poison apple, uh, there was an evil queen. What else? Oh yeah, Snow White lived with those seven dwarves. What were their names again? We got Doc, we got Happy, Grumpy, Sleepy, Sneezy, Dopey, and fuck if I know. Insecurities are like those seven dwarves. They're this little package deal of unique personality types and quirks that we have to coexist with in this tiny cabin in the woods that is called our life. Now here's the thing about Snow White's seven dwarves. We love all of them, don't we? Would her story be the same if Dopey was not part of it, if Grumpy was not part of the equation? Maybe they can get a little annoying sometimes, but oh my god, do we want to get rid of any of them? No! They all represent this different, unique flavor that can be appreciated in its own sweet, charming way. What would our seven dwarves look like? Well, it's gonna be different for each of us, but let me just throw out a few examples. Let's see. We've got needy, we've got awkward, we've got clingy, we have too old, we have too inexperienced, we have slutty, we have virgin, bossy, lonely, bitchy, chubby, desperate, sloppy drunk, and over emotional. Or some such combination of fun little flavors. Now when it comes to bringing guys over to the Enchanted Cabin, there's usually two different approaches people will take when dealing with their little insecurity family. One, they try to hide those motherfuckers. Lonely, get behind the curtains. Desperate, go upstairs and hide under the bed. Over emotional, get in the closet and if I hear a peep out of you, ho ho ho, just wait. And then Handsome Prince waltzes in and is like, hmm, it's kind of weird in here. Like there's this strange lumpy curtain situation and I hear whimpering coming out of the closet and like something doesn't feel right in here. Because insecurities don't like having to hide. They want to be out in the open. They can't breathe in the closet. The curtain is suffocating them. They're like, let me out. And then when they do come out, all hell breaks loose because you're like, oh my God, I've been trying to hide you. And like, yeah, it's just so weird. I swear I've never seen these before. And the prince is like, mm, yeah, I don't know. This doesn't seem quite right to me. Or if you're not the hiding kind, maybe you're more out in the open about it, but you're fighting and apologizing for him constantly. Please don't judge me for needy. Please, I'm chubby. I promise we're working on it. And Mr. Prince is just sitting there like, wow, I just wanted to come over and have a nice time with you because you seem fun. You don't have to apologize for all of this shit. It's like, 
not a big deal, but uh, seems like it's a really big deal to you. But what happens when the prince comes over and you are cool with your crew? When you guys are like all in peace and understanding and love and harmony with one another? Oh my gosh, isn't that a pleasant experience for everyone involved? But don't even do it to win over some motherfucking prince. Do it because fighting with yourself sucks. Feeling like you have to hide certain parts of yourself sucks. Don't you want to accept yourself as a package deal, even with the crappy, uncomfortable stuff? I hope so. You would not be who you are without your insecurities. Period, case in point, and stop. So the best thing you can do is befriend them. Make peace, be cool, be chill. Look them in the eye and be like, I see you, I'm sorry, I've been rejecting you for years and years. It's very uncomfortable. I don't wanna do that anymore. Mm. You don't have to love your insecurities, but right now, you do have to coexist with them because they are part of your package deal. I mean, you guys are all living together. So see them, greet them, understand them, and oh my gosh, you'll come back and thank me later. And thank you, Lachelle, for writing in with your brilliant question. Gosh, there are always so many more things that I want to share that I just can't fit into these videos. And that's why I send out a weekly email every Wednesday to an awesome crew of people that are part of the bigger conversation happening on amyyoungcoaching.com. So if you want in on that, just head to the link in the description box. You can enter your email there and I will visit your inbox this Wednesday. I would absolutely love to connect with you that way. Speaking of making connections, something tells me that you have a gal pal who really wants in on this party. She doesn't even know about it, so go ahead and share this video with her. Help her get in on the romance revolution because we are changing the way that you think about dating and relationships over here. One video at a fucking time. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I would absolutely love to see you next time around, and until then, I'll see ya. Bye bye if you're in an environment where everyone is like, well, this sucks and that's okay, I guess, we just have to deal with it. Whoa, problem.